What's up guys, my name is Jay, I make music production tutorials for beginners on YouTube in Cubase and FL Studio. So if you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing and click that post notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. So a week ago, I got a question from someone asking me if I can show them how to clean up reverb on a lead vocal. I answered the question in the comments, but then I thought uh, maybe I should just create a tutorial so that it will be easier for people to understand. So I'm making this video based on that particular comment. So I'm just trying to answer this question and hopefully some of you out there can also learn something from this. So the song that we're dealing with today is uh, this one here. I'm going to put the link in the description to the song. You can go and stream it. Right here, I've removed a reverb, so there's no reverb, so that I put it during this tutorial. So I'll just play this song so that you listen to it, and then we can start doing the reverb. Now I'm so cold, now you make me cold. Oh, yeah. Can't trust no more. We had so long. Especially when you get it from the ghetto, from the ghetto. Get it from the party, from the party. Can't trust no more, no more. All right, so basically, this is the song that we're dealing with, and at the moment, there's no reverb. So, I have these lead vocals. For those of you that watch my tutorials, I'm sure you know these lead vocals are all sent to my lead vocal group channel, which is this one here. This is where all my effects are my plugins and then I've got a backing vocal group channel down here so what I'm going to do is um, click on my lead vocal group channel then just come down here and say add FX channel to selected channels which is this so I'm going to use the river plugin whichever river plugin you use is okay for me I'm going to use the vintage verb by Valhalla and I'm just going to name this as verb send i just make sure my configuration is stereo and audio output is stereo click ok the first thing i need to do is to find uh, the perfect uh, preset for me right here to do with uh, my vocal so i'm going to play this if you look at my lead vocal group channel here i have this verb send which has now come so i'm going to leave it at maximum and then I'll just play the vocal as I play around with the, the presets down here. So I'll try to find the preset that has got the depth that I want. And then after that, I'm going to reduce the amount. So I'll just go to reverb. And basically for this type of song, what I'm looking for is in here. So... Uh, I'll just start with this maybe then I just play this and then I'll be changing the the presets here so that we find the one with the depth that I really like niggas come around the same as my friend when I, when I lost it I can see them again now I'm so cool now you make me cool can't trust no more we got so So I like this depth right here. So I'll just leave it at this. Now I need to filter my reverb so that um, I cut off some noises and other things so that this reverb is only concentrated at a certain point. So what you need to do is just under your reverb send right here, just click on uh, activate this pre-filter right here. So just activate this pre-filter just make sure it's red and then we're going to filter uh, some frequencies so we're going to switch on the high cut and the low cut and then just set this to 24 so that here we have a steep curve if you look at these other curves 
so I'll switch this to 24 and then also this to 24 so I'm going to play this and then play around with my filter right here as I listen to the reverb so when I reach a point where I feel I've kind of put the reverb in a position where all the type of noises and other things have kind of gone then that's where I'll leave it So just to check, you can uh, bypass this by switching on and off. So I think at this point, I'm satisfied with the reverb that I have here. Then now I can go and set the level under my lead vocal group channel here. So I can set the level now to the level that I want. So what you do is, uh, as this song plays, you can uh, be dragging this level coming down here. Then I'm going to show you where exactly you should stop. So let me play this. Niggas come around, stay with my friend. When, when I lost it, I couldn't see them again. Now I'm so cold, now you make me cold. Oh, yeah. Can't trust no more. Me not so long. Especially when you get it from the ghetto, from the ghetto. Get it from the part, from the part. I feel like at this point, uh, the reverb is okay for me. Why did I stop at that point? What you need to be looking for is a point where the reverb does not suppress the vocal, where they just kind of blend in together without one of them suppressing the other. And in order to make sure of this, you can bypass back and forth. Once you reach a point where you feel like the reverb is okay, you can start bypassing the reverb by clicking this button right here and listen to the vocal without the reverb, then listen to the vocal with the reverb. If after switching on the reverb, you feel like it's coming in too much, you can feel it too much, then that means you need to reduce it a little bit. So the difference should be, if you don't pay too much attention, you don't really notice that the reverb is there. So you just need to feel the, the reverb, not actually hear the reverb. You just need to feel it uh bring that softness in the vocal so let me just bypass this back and forth you listen to the vocal without the reverb and the vocal with the reverb niggas come around and say that's my friend when, when i lost it i couldn't see them again now i'm so cold now you make me cold oh, yeah. can't trust no more we had so long especially when you get it because this is a lead vocal, the reverb shouldn't suppress it too much. Niggas come around and say, that's my friend. When I, when I lost it, I can see them again. Now I'm so cold, now you make me cold. Oh, yeah. Can't trust no more. Me not so long. Especially when you get it from the ghetto, from the ghetto. Get it from the party, from the party. Can't trust no more. No more this point the reverb is okay so just to go back to our reverb send you've seen we've made this filter we've um, cut off all the extreme highs which may cause that to that much of the noises and we've cut off uh, a little bit of the lows this is where we get the room sound and all that stuff if I click the my reverb plugin here you'll see that uh, under this preset I've got a pre-delay of uh, 20 milliseconds so what the pre-delay really does is it gives space for the vocal to kick in and then the reverb comes out so if i set it all the way down here then that means the reverb and the vocal will be coming in at the same time you need to give space for the vocal to first come in and then the reverb follows so i found that a 20 millisecond pre-delay is kind is kind of okay so once the vocal comes in and then your reverb follows also if you don't want to
to do the filter down here where we did it from you can do the filter directly on the plugin here so it has this eq let me just say most of the river plugins have got this eq so you see the high cut and the low cut so you can adjust this and balance to make this type of thing so basically this is how you get some clean reverb or maybe smooth reverb on your lead vocal you can put any reverb plugin you want right here or any reverb plugin you like using down here and just do the field so thanks a lot for watching guys and i really really appreciate the support that you've been giving me i really appreciate the comments and if you haven't followed me on instagram yet please follow me on instagram let's chat from there you can suggest the videos that you want to see next you can ask me questions there and we can chat so i post most of the updates there don't forget to subscribe and click that post notification bell so that you get notified every time i upload a brand new video my name is jay see you in my next video and i'm out